Human factors engineering, which is also called ergonomics in, in many countries, is the field that focuses on facts about human performance and human characteristics and then designs the system around those facts. There uh, is a very concrete example I can use of physical ergonomics, which uses measurements of the normal person, and usually they talk about the 95th percentile person and what the body measurements are, and then design a chair to fit those measurements, and that then, then we call an ergonomically designed chair. And similarly, we can design IT systems to minimize errors based on known human performance that we learn from in doing scientific studies around those systems. I find often that human factors engineering is misunderstood at first, but once people understand it, they embrace it. Sometimes people think that human factors is all about changing behaviors and changing the way people are. It's actually interesting because it's the direct opposite of that. Human factors as a field involves scientifically studying human performance and the details of human performance, accepting that for what it is, although there are ways to optimize it, but then designing the system and the devices and the IT system around those performance characteristics in order to optimize outcomes. The great example that everyone can understand this very basic human factors engineering design change would be a simple door design change. When people go through a door and they go to open it because it has a pull handle on it but it only pushes open, we could either train people to use the door better or we could simply replace that pull handle with a push plate and then when people approach the door they know that they need to push on it to open it and they don't need to think about it and that would minimize the chance of error in door opening. Now of course errors when you open a door don't impact lives and patients but you can translate that concept to the way that we design medical devices, health IT systems and the workflows in our system. A recent successful application of human factors that we've, we've done is We've had this software platform called Surginet, and we were working to implement some um, items related to surgical interns' experience as a supervision. And this is really important because we want to make sure that our surgical interns are actually being supervised properly during surgical procedures. And what we actually found when we did some basic usability testing is that having implemented these additional questions, actually the users didn't notice them at all. So this body of work actually would have achieved little to nothing when it was actually rolled out at point of care. And so it's forced us to go back to the drawing board and work out exactly why is it that they don't engage with, those, with that um, stimuli? Why won't they fill out those items? And so we've actually probably saved a lot of money, time and effort um, just by doing what was, has ended up being about three hours worth of sit down in a single room um, work. Human Factors has lots of examples of the ways it can be applied in healthcare with a good outcome. I'll give you one example that I like because it has a health IT flavor, and that is a way that a hospital addressed VTE prophylaxis problem as, uh, for their inpatients. Initially, they were trying to address this problem by, um, by putting reminders on the charts for the physicians as they did the inpatient orders to remind them to do VTE prophylaxis in the right way. And one of the complications of this has been that it's difficult to categorize the patient and do the right level of prophylaxis. And they were only having about 50% compliance with this. And they really focused on this being a compliance problem. And, and they were missing the fact that it was just too complex to do in the normal admission process. So there was a human factors review and what they came up with was a health IT decision support program that allowed the physician to just enter two or three pieces of data into the chart electronically. The rest of the data came electronically from um, the medical record, which was already known. That led the physician directly to a decision support screen that told them the right level of prophylaxis and gave them the chance to then make that entry immediately in. And we found that this brought us to the high 90s with compliance. So a great example of a way that a health IT and human factors solution can change the way we do things from a safety standpoint.